what's up guys, Ariana here. So I said I was going to post videos Tuesday, Wednesday, what is it, Friday and Saturday? I haven't done that very consistently, especially Tuesdays, because I have those blocked out for reviews, and I've been stuck reading the road for a while. <laughs> and that was the one I was gonna do today, but still not finished with it. So, I'm going to review Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rosh. I think that's how you say your name. That's how I would pronounce it, at least. And usually I'm good with linguistics and language and stuff, so... I could be wrong, I don't know. Um, but basically this book, it's a YA novel, and I tried... I did say I was going to try and get out of YA, but there's... I'm still reading them. Yeah. So I read that one. And basically the concept is there are four kingdoms that are called rhythm kingdoms. They cycle through the seasons just like we do. Um, and then there are four kingdoms that are season kingdoms, winter, spring, autumn, and summer. Wow, brain fart. <coughs> and they only have that one season that their kingdom is. And then this story follows winter. And, um, the whole thing is winter, they have, sorry, let me go through this first. Each kingdom has their own conduit, which is like an object that is used for magic that only the royals have control of. So like the king or queen of that kingdom. And they use it to help their kingdom flourish, I guess. And uh, Winter's conduit is stolen, their queen is killed, and their conduit is stolen and broken apart into two halves by Spring's king. So the whole base plot of Snow Like Ashes is that Winter is trying to regain their kingdom and their conduit. And I don't have a physical copy of this book, but if I can get a picture in somewhere on there, I have to figure out how to do that. But if not, I'm sorry, you probably already know what it looks like, though, so it's not worrying. Um, so basically, that's, that's the underlying plot, and then there were, there were 25 refugees <coughs> that... Uh, escaped enslavement, which the rest of the Winterians had to go through. They're all enslaved by spring now. There were 25 refugees that were able to escape, and Mira is one of them who is our main character. <coughs> and she's a badass. Just gonna leave that there. Yeah. So, that's the overall um, synopsis plot of it. What I enjoyed about it is a lot. <laughs> I had read the audiobook for this on my Overdrive app. I think it was, sorry, I'm really fidgety all the time. I think it was like the first one I read on there actually. Yeah, I think. Pretty sure. Um, so yeah, I had the audiobook, that's why I don't have a physical copy of it to show you. Um, but I loved the plot. I thought it was a very interesting concept to have those eight kingdoms separated like that because throughout the book there is a lot of discrimination and I feel like most books take like the racism route which is like modern racism route like black against white just whatever that stuff um sexism all that this is a little bit different same concept, you could still apply it to modern topics like that, but it's kingdom against kingdom. Like, the rhythm kingdoms are all portrayed as high, snotty, like, snobby, uptight kingdoms, and they don't want anything to do with the season kingdoms. They feel like they are better than them. 
So I like that it dealt with that a lot. Um, Mira's a badass. I'm just gonna keep saying that because she's fucking... She fucking does parkour off of buildings. And wields a goddamn chakram. Like... That, not like other girls trope, it's just... It's out the fucking window. Because... Like... It's just out the window. It's, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, the whole romance part of it, there is a semblance of a love triangle within the novel, but it is not the prominent plot turning thing, whatever you want to call it. It is not like the world depends on who she fucking chooses. No. No. It's not even prominent in her own mind. Like, that's not what she thinks about all the time. It, d it does make reference to it, yes, but it's not prominent at all. Um... As far as dislikes, it's not so much like what I didn't, sorry, there was a bug. It's not so much what I didn't like about the way the author did the book or like the concept or the writing style or anything. It's more of like the actual characters. I didn't like all the deception, um, although I did kind of like it because it made it interesting, but it just kind of made me want to punch the characters in the face, but in a good way. Like, it was a really good book. It's just some things that happened and some things the characters did just wanted me to punch... I, I just wanted to just go and slap them across the face because they're stupid. But I love the characters anyway. So, just threw my own pen at me. <coughs> yeah. <clears throat> Keep coughing. Oh. Nope. So, that's, that's actually pretty much it. Like, there wasn't much for me to say about this book because I didn't have... I listened to this while I was driving, mostly, because I had the audiobook, so I didn't really have the ability, I'd say, to actually, like, take detailed notes like I'm doing now with The Road. But just as an overall novel and an overall, my overall thoughts on this, I really, really enjoyed it and I definitely recommend it. I don't, I don't know if I rated it on Goodreads or not, but I'd say it's probably like a four, four and a half, just because I reserve five stars for books that are like mind blowing, like Dark Matter. That's another good one. Okay, so, <laughs> not that that has anything to do with this review, but... Just throwing that out there because it's a really good book. Just like Snow Like Ashes. Really good book. Especially for YA. Some YA can get a little eh. This one's good. This one is really good. Um, so yeah, that's it for this review then. If you guys have read this, leave me your thoughts in the comments below. Um, if you haven't, this was a spoiler free review. So if any of this sounded interesting to you, I definitely recommend you reading this book. It will... Hopefully you will enjoy it. I did, at least. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Uh, leave your comments below if you read it, or if you have any questions, just anything, comment below. If you want to see more, I'm gonna do reviews every Tuesday. I'm gonna actually like light a fire under my ass to do that. So yeah, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video.